about how important it is to plan out our week as far as the events that our family will be taking part in before we actually plan the recipes and menus for the week. And our next idea is to try to find out what foods are on sale this week or what foods do we have coupons for so that we can save money as we plan our menus. So I'm going to show you three places that I check to see what's on sale in the current week. There are many places you can do this online, but these are three things that I do that have really helped me. So first of all, I check my local grocery store that I like to go to every week. And so I use a store called Food Lion here in North Carolina. And I'm noticing that this week, pork loin, half boneless, is on sale for $1.99 a pound. And I know that my husband would love pork loin as a menu, as a recipe, so I'm thinking about that item. And there are several other things here in the meat category. Of course, you can check for all kinds of things here on this site, not just meat. But I did notice that pork loin. The second place that I check for special deals this week is my email where I actually have some coupons sent directly to me every week and they are filtered into this coupons label so that I don't even see them in my inbox until it's time for me to think about going shopping and that's a whole nother screencast for another day but I notice here that this week at coupons.com it's telling me that Pillsbury rolled refrigerated pie crusts are on sale if I buy two of them I have a coupon for 50 cents off and I make a mean chicken pie um, that's a recipe from my mother-in-law and I use those refrigerated pie crusts for that so that might be a good menu for this week as well I might want to include chicken pie this week since those pie crusts are on sale. A third place that I can check is a website called eattheseasons.com and this tells me by month what foods are in season vegetables, fruits and nuts, and meat, and fish and seafood. These are things that would be a little bit more fresh perhaps because they're in season and maybe a little bit lower priced. So this is a good site to check as well, eattheseasons.com. Another really neat site if you haven't seen this, epicurious.com. This is the seasonal ingredient map and it will bring up a map of the United States and it will bring up different months of the year and you can scroll through whatever month you need to but I think by default it goes to the current month that we're on at this time but you can click on your state and then it will show you a little pop-up of the different things that are seasonal right now for instance in North Carolina apples broccoli cabbage cucumbers grapes peanuts sweet potatoes pumpkins and tomatoes are seasonal which means they're going to be more plentiful probably a little bit fresher and a little bit less expensive as well probably so these are things to get your mind working as to what types of ingredients you might want to use in the menu for your week if these things are on sale if you have coupons for these things then and not only will they taste great but they'll be a little bit cheaper that week so this is a great idea you would have to do it on a weekly basis because you don't get those weekly ads from your grocery store on a monthly basis you'd have to do it on a weekly basis but I like to plan by the week anyway so this works great for me so three ways again by getting an e-newsletter from your grocery store or from their website also from coupons.com pillsbury.com is another good site that will automatically send you coupons by email and you just print them off and turn them in at the store and then eattheseasons.com and then this peak season map at epicurious.com so those are some great ways to find out what's going to be on sale that particular week and be able to help you to find menus and we'll talk about that in another screencast menus that go with those items or that include those items and then you can have tasty items for a lower price that week so good luck as you look for your seasonal foods or foods that are on sale that week and stay tuned for another screencast about how to then search for recipes with these ingredients